Hi, how are you? It's Ching, and uh, we have something new for you today. Um, throughout the teaching, and because I was a choreographer before, I kind of like create something, you know, a little simpler and new things for people to get more aware of how to release the tension in their body or the tension become pain, right? So it's not good. Um, by the way, if this is the first time you see my video, you are so welcome. And uh, I so welcome return audience to uh, audience, student audience. Okay, so today's topic, I call it essential six. So there's three exercise used the upper body, three exercise talking from the lower. So what is that? What does that mean? So the most crucial pain collection area, right? You collect the pain area, it's right here. Lower rib, there's a two floating ribs here, okay? And then the waist, okay, lumbar area, and the little glutes. So that little glutes, what I call gluteal medius and minimus, it does so many movements. You rotate, rotate, flex, extend, AB, adduction. So the problem is we don't do that often. So those muscles kind of atrophy a bit because we always do the sagittal movement, right? Walking, sagittal plane, okay? Sagittal planes mean forward, flexion, extension, right? Biking, flexion, 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 right? Running, elliptical, all those popular exercises, lift weights up and a little bit, but the most, the one that we miss the most is the spiral rotation. So then our life too, we sit too long, we drive. So in my book, right, one body, one life within your control, always try to focus on the basic stuff. Okay, so then you can fly after, right? If you don't, if you did not learn ABC, if I did not learn ABC and pronunciation, I'm not gonna be able to speak English right and i'm still working on it and had to get better and better if i have to speak to everybody uh, in the world so anyway um the missing fundamental of the body is when we didn't get in touch what's what is it what it is here right so we're gonna go through this there's three exercises there's three warm-up you targeting use the upper body because why the weight of your head, 12, 15 pounds, your shoulder, right? Some people really build it up. So that's all weighted right here, right? Because this is concave. So your neck is concave, so you got four curves, right? Your neck goes in, go out a little bit, your thoracic go out a little bit. So you have a really beautiful wave. We want to keep that beautiful, smooth wave. We don't want to exaggerate the wave. Right? So throughout the life, we're not paying attention. Our muscle lost work, lost strengthening and conditioning. So we are start changing our posture without even knowing it. So by the time you saw yourself in the mirror, you go, oh my God, what happened? Right? So slowly getting there. So now pay attention. So here, so it weights right here. So that's the upper body weight. Okay, that's why I'm gonna give you the first three. This is the first part. Next week, and show the second part. Then what happened when you walk into, people walk with the heel down first. If you do that, you can feel energy goes right in there. Now, if you have the Fitbit, you're gonna walk, what, um, 10,000 steps, whatever, I don't know why. But <laughs> if you don't do it right, don't do that many times because you're gonna hurt you more, hurt yourself more, right? So if you pay attention, go out like this, try a couple of times, go out like this, it goes to your lower back. So the weight of a body sits down, and then the weight jams right up. So you come home and say, oh my God, my back hurts so bad. Why? You forgot your first responder and the uh, fundamental. Who we talk about core, but we're not quite sure where the core is. So the core muscle is your body uh, on your trunk. I'm not gonna go there too far. If you want to search for more answer, you can look at, you can look at the, my video list, um, oh, joyful walking, proper posture with the five checkpoint, and how to breathe. Those are three of the most important ones. Then there's there's a nine basic focus, okay? It's all in my book too. That's why putting the book has a better, a much better uh, um, system. 
for you to follow. So my book is actually reference, a reference for you to learn how to take care of yourself, one body, one life, with three focus, breathing, nutrition, exercise. Okay, so here we go. I will put a little more information where to uh, pre-order my book at the end of the video. Nice and tall. I put this, it's called Art Barrel. It's one of the um, apparatus, right? Joseph Pilates have designed. I also teach Pilates in my studio. So at home, I use this because I can video at the stairs. So at home, that will be your first step. Or the end of the couch, something that or you have, if you have a very heavy coffee table push against the wall, you don't want this piece move, okay? So it's not a bench or something, not a small bench. When something that's solid, not moving, it will help you to decompress your spine more. You will see as I demonstrate. The most important part to learning everything through the video, you watch once, get the concepts. Then you follow one, then you can follow three and four and five times and to memorize it. This exercise, this warm up I'm showing you right now, it's really good for early in the morning when you wake up, okay? If you sit in the office all day long, you're kind of locked up, or if you ride your bike for many, many miles or running, any of this sagittal movement, you're gonna try to release that lower back a little bit because it's not moving, because you just keep doing this position. There's no, right? Lots of other movement comes in. Okay, here we go. You're gonna engage your mic. I'm gonna engage my down now. I find a five check on proper posture first. Inhale, fill the lungs, not your tummy. On the exhale, you nod your head. So I'm open my cervical vertebrae. Inhale, and soften my breastbone, just side. So I open the upper thoracic. Inhale. I'm going to release, bend my knee, release the upper arrow that consists of external big and a six pack, six pack, you know, six pack. Hollow your tummy, open the lumbar area. Now you ready, keep going down now. Last biggest joint is your hip socket, full your body half. Put both hands, elbow out to the side, send my elbow to the side, and your hands on top of me, okay? I turn sideways so you can see my spine better. Park the rib cage on the quadricep. So decompress. So the top your head to the floor. If you can, if you see the floor, you know you're too tight. You have a full head. So that's okay. And just keep practice because we really want to release the tension of the neck, right? Inhale. Now from my back, I'm gonna wake up the muscle in the back to contract, to lift your spine, to articulate your spine into what we call the extension. Extension means so you open the front side, but I'm gonna engage my downward coastal rickage. I don't wanna crunch in the lower back because I really wanna preserve my cartilage. Inhale, between every vertebrae. On the exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, okay, tiny little movement. I'm gonna strain my right leg a little bit. I shift my weight forward. Inhale, exhale again, straight the left knee a little bit. You're gonna push your weight forward. So now you feel that quadradius along with the waistline and the little glutes. And of course your hamstring because, right, you flex from the hip. You got all this line. Good job, inhale. Exhale forward, hollow your tummy going forward. You bend your knee, lower your pelvis. So you kind of do a little U-turn, right? Slide it, so thumbs forward. The front muscle sends you up, the back muscle going down. So there's up, there's down, it works so well together. Pay attention what's happening in your body. That's how you get to know this one body, okay? And then, then they all have name, the muscle has name. So we want to decompress the spine because we're upright creature and all the exercise we like is all upright. So constant compress. So what happened? And my clients say, Oh, my doctor said I have a degenerated joint in my neck. And you lower back because remember we just talked about that's concavent. It's the weight bearing. So your head weighs what? 12, 15 pounds, right? But if you do like this, that's not good. You want to strengthen the muscles to help you support the structure, okay? So you don't wear off the cartilage because when that happens, arthritis comes in. The autoimmune system comes to repair. 
but really um, there's not much they can do. They just create inflammation, make you have lots of pain. So engage your dumbbell nice and tall. So we want to talk to the muscles, strengthen them, have a good posture, and understand how to use the nature to exercise. Okay, so we ready? We ready? The second one, inhale, gentle notch your head, soften the chest. Same idea. Slowly bend your knee, flex it. I put my hands right on the end of the quadricep. Flex the hip, come down. So you say, I can't go that far, it's okay. Keep trying, that's really, not, this is too tight. That area doesn't get to move, inhale. Okay, you push down a little bit, engage your down, go into a beautiful extension. Don't do that, that's the forehead again. So you wanna, your spine so smooth extension. Uh, one curved line, inhale. Exhale, this time you release your arm, put your hands on. I can put on the floor, top head down. That's how normally, and your hands have to be wider than your shoulder. And I want your palm down. It's very important to put your palm down. You say, heck, that's not gonna happen. So you use the step. Okay, you put your palm down, can be the second, the first one or the second one, right? It's up to you. Listen to your body, shoulder down. So I see my neck is really low. Inhale. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna straight the right leg just a little bit. You can see me, I'm gonna use my leg, push my way forward. Inhale, exhale, send your sits bone back, the right sits bone back. You probably will tilt slightly to the left, bend the right knee. Exhale, tiny little movement. We don't, we never do more. We do what's right, right? If you do wrong thing many times, you injure yourself any time. Exhale again, straight to left leg, shift your way forward. You ready? Bend your knee, lower your pelvis, put energy down to your foot. So from the inner thigh, go into the tummy. You unroll, thumbs forward, and nice and tall. Not here. Don't come back like this, right? Like a human. Now give yourself one breath. Inhale and exhale, okay? If you come back, you feel like the room is spinning, that's when your circulation needs a lot of help. So, so sometimes people might fall down. Don't just be careful. Save yourself. If that happens, just hold on the stairs and then come back little by little. Or start doing sitting on the chair. Um, we really need to create that potential differences to what circulate, help the blood circulation. Everything is like this, right? So this is very important one. So inhale, prepare. Ready for the third one? Inhale. Nod your head, soften the chest, ribcage, hollow tummy. Same idea. Open that lower back, flex from the hip. Hands on. Park the ribcage. You say, okay, it's not parking. It will someday if you keep on practice. Inhale. Push down. Extend the thoracic spine. Again, don't use your head, right? So don't use that neck. <coughs> Inhale. Sorry. Exhale. You ready? Slowly comes down, hands on, or on the floor. I really want the palm down because when you shift forward, you can hold yourself. If you're on the finger, you're gonna flip over, right? So put your palm down. It can be a little higher, it's okay. So safety is first, inhale. I'm gonna walk my right hand to the left. So I'm open the right side, contract the left. So drop your head down still, inhale. Ready, straight the right leg, straight the right leg, a little more, shift your way forward. So your left hand is really holding you. Inhale, exhale, now you send this hip back a little bit wide. So you get a, that thoracic spine, external big quadratus, little glutes, and some bone hamstring. Push back and shift your way forward. Exhale again, shift your way forward, and keep reaching, four breaths, and the three. And the four, nice opening, open, open, open. Now slowly come back, inhale. Left hand walk to the right side. Okay, I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see better. So we're ready. So I'm walking to the right. Inhale, exhale, I'm gonna straight the left leg, straight the left leg just a little bit and shift your way forward. Can you see my palms down? Now keep you send the left sits bone back and shift forward. 
Hollow your tummy. One. Full breath here. Two. So keep breathing and stretch. Open three. Now you see you stretch in the quadratus lumborn, little glutes, and the tush. Shoulders down. Right neck is long. Slowly coming back. Bend your knee. Lower the pelvis. Push down. There's lots of little detail. Okay, nice and tall until you arrive. One breath here. Inhale and exhale. Great. Wiggle out a little bit. That's what you're going to learn today. Okay. Use the steps. Like I say, the movement up and down. Roll down, roll up. Right. So a lot of time you're watching people. They drop something. They're afraid to pick it up. <laughs> we don't have one life anymore or one body, right? So it's very important. You want to be able to get down, pick it up, and stay. So then, guess what? And I'm a grandmother. Good, good thing my my kids are much much. My grandchildren is much older. But you know, and life tells us if your grandmother, yeah, you better get down, play with the grandchildren. See how it's set up for us, right? We have to prepare ahead of time. So life is to celebrate. Life is not be pain and sadness and stress. All this life is give you opportunity to come above better. Okay, I'm going to put、um, a cover picture of my book. It's one body, one life within your control. You may pre-order now. And、uh, also, I'm gonna give you the link. You can order from BabaaPress.com. I also have a. They give me a book website, which is wonderful. You have you can the book website name is One Body One Life with Ching.com. That that website is really well designed. <laughs> They did a good job. It's about author about the book. You can look a couple sample page, and、um, and there's a the best part. There's an eighteen QR code linking to the videos, you know, coincide with the book. So my book is a manual. It's a reference book. Keep it for yourself or give it to your friends. Teach them right injury free and ageless exercise. If you want to exercise, get to know the body first. Uh, don't skip the fundamental: how to breathe, how the scalp is moving, the upper arrow, lower arrow. Those are core muscles. I give names so it's easier. Then you got two V's, right? Latissimus dorsi and the lower trap. Now you can hold yourself upright and you can walk properly. So a lot of details before you're doing crazy high impact exercise. And、uh, but we we do everything opposite, right? We We play sports first, then we get injuries. Okay, now I need to learn how to take care of myself. So, check out my book. It has a lot of answer for you, your question, and the answer for you. And、uh, so, and next week I'm gonna show you how to do similar things, but start from the lower leg to stretch up. We got from up going down. Now next week will be from the leg going forward to how you stretch, helping the walking. Situation today is more like upright sitting, not moving. Open it up, okay? So, and、uh, thank you, and I see you next video, the part two of the essential six. Bye.